Hey, what's up, Facebook fam? This is Federico Hidalgo coming to you from the wonderful city of Tempe, Arizona. Um, you know, I'm just sitting here just taking a, a morning walk and I thought about it like this, you know. Have you ever made that prayer and said, God, make me new? Or have you ever made a declare in your life or decreed in your life that I'm going to be made brand new and you've prophetically spoken things over yourself in the Holy Ghost? God, make me new. Many times we think God make me new is going to be an upgrade. You know, many times we think it's going to be like, you know, um, steroids. You know what I mean? Like something addition, additionally falling upon you to take you to another level. Many times that is the case, but that's not always going to be the case, ladies and gentlemen. Many times in our life when we ask God make us brand new, He has to strip us down, crush us, break us destroy everything that we seriously to the core of our being are we have to become broken and many times we cannot go to the next level with the baggage of everything we possess in the current level or the previous level we've got to be at a place where our life is shattered because it shatters our our ideas and how we perceive God to work in this coming season and God says, I cannot work in this coming season in your life the way that I have been projecting myself in the previous season of your life. I am making everything brand new, not just you. And in order for you, God says, I've made your future brand new. I've made your destiny brand new. Everything you're walking into is newness of life. And I have got to build your character and I've got to create you into my image and that can happen overnight it's a process of being broken and many times when we ask God to make us brand new he takes us to places where we have to actually look at ourselves and understand we are the issue we are the problem we are the reason why we can't go forward and God must come and break that down God must come and destroy that and crush it but when he does he releases an anointing of his spirit he releases such a great depth of his knowledge and mind and understanding and wisdom and it will build you up and when you go into this next season after have been made brand new it's then where the newness within you taps into the prophetic of the newness in your current destiny going into your future destiny where there's an igniting that happens and there's power and demonstration that is released out of your life so if you're out there ladies and gentlemen and you've been praying for God to make you brand new and it feels like everything's falling apart it feels like everything's crushing and caving down problems are just only increasing can I tell you ladies and gentlemen the reason why we sense these issues as problems is because it breaks us out of our routine of how things used to be so rather than fight against it argue about it run from God backslide from God turn away from the the mark of the high prizing God in Christ Jesus you need to embrace these things that are coming that we perceive to be as difficult circumstances. We need to embrace them and hold them and love them and fall to an altar and become broken and pouring yourself out as God is pouring himself in. And when you get up that altar, when you get it from that experience, you'll walk away with a new walk. You'll walk away with a new mind. You'll walk away with a new life. But it's not in a moment. It can happen in a moment. But many times it is a process God will take you through. And if you can withstand the, the fire, you'll come out like gold. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Federico Hidalgo coming to you from Tempe, Arizona. If you're going through the fire, hold on because God's got a miracle coming your way.